Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Tom's River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 607, Friday, August 12th, 79 degrees. Getting up to a steamy 96 today. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310 News Talk Radio streaming. streaming. I got stuck because I was thinking steaming and then I went streaming. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. a tongue twister. Yeah, it was a kind of yeah mess with my mind. Streaming live on the Radio Pup app at WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160 to join our conversation. Our conversation now turns to the arts. Our conversation now turns to our gang players. And on the line with us, we have Lindsay Monaco and Glenn Parker, our gang players. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for joining Good, us so you? early. Yeah, right. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. So talk to me. Tonight Tonight is opening night, right? So do you, do you get the opening night jitters? Tonight is opening night, and there's always opening night jitters. But then once you're on stage, you forget all about it. Yeah. Are you, uh, Glenn, you Glenn, Glenn, do you feel the same way? Uh, typically, um, I get a little nervous. And then once, the, you know, the first scene and song's over, um, the excitement kind of takes over. And it that really brings in a lot of the focus that you've yeah. been working right. on so hard. Now, um, now, it's the way really quickly. Now, do you guys have like a, do you have like, is there like some kind of a ritual that you do before the show to kind of calm yourself down? Like, do you like, you know, do some kind of, you know, some kind of like dance or like some kind of, you know, do you have to eat some kind of fried chicken or, you know, something? Is there something you have to do? No. Um, well, typically what our group does is um, every show, the whole entire cast gets together on the stage. We do like some breathing exercises to get everyone on page and kind of centered and focused. Um, but I mean, you're rehearsing stuff up until the curtain opens. So it's, you never know what's going to happen, which is part of the fun that's within uh, doing live theater. Yeah. Right. So, so, so you cut, you do breathe. So it's like a big Lamaze class right before then. <laughs> yeah, totally. We All hold right. hands. We have. That's nice. That's oh, nice. Baby. I have a nice picture. Like it's a really, uh, it's a really nice kumbaya. Like give the world a coke moment. It is. It is. I like that. Yeah, All right. So tell tell me a little about anything goes. What do I need to know about this show uh, opening tonight uh, in at the uh, Stafford Township Art Center? Uh, what do I need to know? So Anything Goes takes place in the 1930s. Um, the show begins kind of within the story of our two characters. Lindsay's playing Reno Sweeney, and I'm playing Billy Crocker. Um, they quickly find out that the love interest of Billy is aboard the ship. Um, so Reno assists Billy into all of these disguises and characters, so he's able to sneak on the ship and stay on the ship um, so that he's able to be around who he's in love with. Um, Things quickly get very chaotic. Yeah, a lot of things, a lot of slapstick things happen, yeah. you know, hiding and... And then, um, so it quickly turns into kind of like a love, like square, I guess you would say, and yeah. everything's all mixed up. Um, it unfolds fairly funny, so it's a, it's a really good show. It does, cool. and there's lots and lots of singing and dancing. <laughs> so so how many of these shows, so Lindsay, we'll start with you, how, how many shows have you done with our gang at this point? Um, well, maybe I lost count on the amount of shows, but I've been in the year. I've been in the group over fifteen years. Oh wow! Okay, and how about you, Glenn? I'm just at fifteen years as well. Wow. <laughs> so, so is it any different though? I mean, this is a heavy, like a heavy tap dance deal, right? So, yeah. so is there ever a show that comes up and you're like, oh, I really, I'm not good at that. I can't. Like, this is not my strength, not my forte. Like, no, not so much. You know, what's really cool about our gang players is that they, they take everyone. Um, I mean, if if you would have looked back at me 15 years ago, I wouldn't definitely be doing a tap show at all. But it's, it's kind of turned into something that I've enjoyed. Um, so rather than looking at shows that I'm not too versed or talented in, um, I kind of look at it as an opportunity to grow. I mean, this group has become, for both of us, kind of our second family. We, um, we met like 10 years ago within the organization, and now um, – it's really cool because our two characters play best friends in the show. and I mean, We're best friends in real life. Yeah, so we're just spending even more time together. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So, okay, so what do you guys do in your in your non-acting lives? So, Glenn, we'll start with you. What do you do when you're not on stage? 
So I have my master's in social work, and I work as an adolescent mental health clinician. Okay. Uh, well, so that's a that's a little bit of a contrast to um, being yeah, up to, to being tapping on stage and anything goes. And and for you, Lindsay, <laughs> <Call me patient. laughs> I'm a full time pharmacy technician, um, but I went to school for hospitality and tourism management. I have my bachelor's degree in that. So I just graduated last year. So still searching for a job in that uh, that degree. Pharmacy technician. So you get a good discount on drugs then. Well, not a not a discount. I'm, I'm, all right. Well, it was, it was worth no, a shot. No, no, no. Uh, so, so okay. So uh, and so, how did you both? How did you kind of get involved in this? Uh, and Lindsay, we'll start with you. How did how did you get involved with our gang? What kind of you know were you always into? Um, you know, did you do theater in school, and then this was just a perfect extension? I mean, where, how did that happen for you? Well, what really happened was is that I was more so into dance. I took a lot of dance classes growing up ever since the age of five. And then I was kind of like nervous to do the acting thing, but my dad started in it like over 20 years ago. So I would go see him in our gang shows and I would be like, you know what, I want to try something different. So I started when I was younger, more so doing like the, the stage design and helping with sets and things like that. And then I moved into doing the acting and it just grew on me. And I found out that I had a voice, so I just went with it. <laughs> cool. And how about you, uh, Glenn? Um, well, when I was in, um, I guess, like, middle school and high school, I kind of started taking, like, drama class and stuff. I didn't exactly do musicals at first. And then um, a few people that were in my friend group belonged to the, um, the Argan players, so they kind of asked me just to come along. And it's, it's funny because they kind of, you know, made their way um, away from it, and I just kind of stayed around. Cool. All right. So we are up against a break. So when we come back, uh, I would love to be able to talk about it. I have a couple of questions. Number one, um, I would I would hope that we could talk a little bit about what's up next, because for you guys, it's always about, you know, you got you have you have three nights doing this or three days doing this and then it's off to the next uh, to the next project. Right. So we'd like to see yeah, what's what's yeah. on tap. Uh, uh, sure. part, pardon the pun there. And also, <laughs> uh, see what I did on tap? It's a tap. There anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then also, um, I'd like to understand your definition of finest cruise attire because I need to know what that means. So uh, sure. we have Lindsay Monaco and Glenn Parker, our gang players. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this. Rush Limbaugh today at noon. More Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin coming up next. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. We are here with uh, Lindsay Monaco and Glenn Parker talking mm -hmm. our gang players. Uh, so, okay, so what, first of all, tonight is like the, uh, tonight's opening night. It's also like giveaway yeah. night. And it's also yeah. like, um, I don't know, like I guess we're doing like Rocky Horror Picture Show dress up night. Right. <laughs> Although, let's not confuse people. We don't want people to dress up, dress it exactly. No, dress up like Frankenfurter. Yeah, we're not exactly looking for the whole you know sweet transvestite thing. Um, so, so tell me what uh, what cruise attire looks like, and how does that differ from normal summer wear? It's more so like just think of when you're on an actual cruise uh -huh. and you have like your your night out. So. I guess a woman would be like, you know, a short cocktail dress or something, or something nautical looking, maybe a hat. Um, for man, for men, like maybe like nice dress pants, button down shirt. That's what I think of. All right, so you're looking for like linen is what we're looking for here, huh? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, I got it now. And, and what can I expect? So, so when you say free giveaways, like like, is there one car, two cars? How what what are we giving away? Well, so everyone, I guess, that um, dresses the part is going to go on stage. They have, a, I, I believe, a few giveaways. One is it's a night cruise that they're a giving away. A night cruise up on Long Beach Island. On Long Beach Island. And then there's also, like, um, um, like, like smaller ones, like scratch-offs. Like, scratch -off yeah, like a like, whole bunch of scratch-offs. Yeah. And cool. gift certificates and stuff, and stuff like that. And you get to take a cruise on Miss Bar You get uh, tickets for a cruise on the Miss Barnegat Light. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right, so okay, so so anything goes, and uh, this is a Cole Porter. Uh, this is a heavy, all heavy, old school, uh, big production musical. Uh, one of the all time classics, right? Yes. Um, I mean, 
it's it's not really seen on the Tonys and stuff like that, like that until the revival because it was written prior to the awards. But I mean, it has like it's so lovely. You're the top. Anything goes. Blow Gabriel Blow, which are huge Very production, well known, yeah, well known um, numbers. Yeah, I'm sad to say I can sing the the whole uh, the whole title track. So I'm gonna. But I'm gonna, oh, I, I'm yeah. gonna avoid the heck out of that for all I got. <laughs> um, all right, so so what's next? What do we have? What's on deck after this? Okay, so um, at the end of October, um, we will be doing uh, the Children of Eden, and then they're also doing um, into December for the kids Elf Junior the musical. Elf Junior, that's right. That's I had this discussion where I was like all excited to see Elf. And then it was like, yeah, for kids five and up or something like that. And I realized that yeah. it wasn't. It's for our kids. Yeah. Well, what... Let me tell you something. They're a very talented group of people. You would not expect the talent to come out of like Little such kids, a yeah. yeah such a young um, group of kids. Yeah. Do uh, job. Yeah, it's funny. We were. Um, I was actually in uh, New York uh, two days ago, and uh, we were quoting Elf. Uh, we went to a, we went we went to a diner to grab coffee, and I said, "Oh my God, this is the world's best cup of coffee! You made it! Congratulations! So exciting!" Um, all right, so so what we typically do, guys, is that we give you each a magic wand where you can make an impact, make a difference, uh, make a uh, you know do something special for the world. So I'm gonna give each each one of you one of those. So what are you gonna do? Oh gosh, Jeez. um. Glenn first. For oh, nice. That was nice, Lindsay. Way to throw him right under the bus. Good job. Um, well, I'm going to make mine personal. Go ahead. Such a struggle. I, I'd make college free because th- these student loans are, like, brutal over here. Gotcha. No, good call. I got you there, Bernie Sanders. Okay. College is free. I mean, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to make mine sound more like I'm in a beauty pageant. Not so much like, well, obviously world peace, but like I wish, you know, there were no wars or anything like that. You know, everyone could get along. That's right. Can't, like that. can't we all just get along and just uh, exactly. be be more into the performing arts, right? Yeah. Now, now have, supportive of each other. have you guys seen the new, um, the new Engage Tom's River contest that we just announced? No. Uh, oh. Uh... <laughs> so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you uh, real quick, right? We are doing a uh, we are now doing an Engage Tom's River uh, Giving Tuesday Theater Group Challenge, right? So okay. if you go to the Jay and Linda Grunin Foundation dot org under Engage Tom's River, we are calling okay. on all theater groups in Ocean County to submit a five minute uh, audition uh, audition uh, tape, and then we're okay. gonna take. The five, the five best tapes. Well, three of the best tapes, and then two of the people's choice. And we're going to do a one night show at Ocean County College at the Performing Arts Center. Wow! Um, oh, and then wow. we're going to have a juried competition for the best performance of that scene. And then we're going to have a people's choice competition for what the people's choice think. And we're giving away ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars to each winner. We'll bring it on. All right, I'm just saying because you know we had this originally started because there was an our gang. I was trying to stoke the flames of an our gang versus Exit 82 battle royale, right? <laughs> and uh, and your team wasn't having any of it. Um, but I will say, I will say uh, that uh, that the Exit 82 folks were all about it. So I'm just saying this okay. is a uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, Bill, Billy Cardone. But Billy Cardone has a big, uh, a big, uh, a big bullseye on his head. Oh, All right. Well, listen, guys. Thank you so much for your time today. Best of luck today. I know you guys are going to kill it. Uh, anything goes at the Stafford Township. Where is that? At the Stafford Township Art Center. Art Center. Yeah, attached to the Intermediate School, Manahawkins. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Well, break a leg, but not literally, and uh, and have a great show. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank All right, you. thanks. Lindsay Monaco, right. Glenn Parker, our gang players, uh, anything goes, Stafford Township Art Center, uh, attach the intermediate school, tickets on sale at the door, great group of folks doing great performing arts at the Jersey Shore. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this. The news is next. Live from the WOBM Newsroom, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. 
Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin, News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310.